M0FXB, just uh, showing you my airband settings. Now, I am new to this device, but it's fun learning. So to turn down the volume, just turn the middle knob. See, it says here, volume. You need it underlined in white, and then it will go down. You can press it, and it moves. This white line moves round when you're pressing the middle black volume between auto, sorry, attenuator, volume, filter, and then it will go down to squelch. If you enable squelch, you can hear some air bound there. So if we go radio, audio, hit squelch, we've enabled it, it's now gone green here. Go back to radio twice, here, radio twice. Now just push the button down, the volume button, until it goes to where the squelch is. And then we can turn that up. And when it goes red here, we turn the squelch on. These small numbers are changing. There you are. So I just squelched out so it's not too noisy. I don't know what that is, but it's got to be in this house somewhere. Uh, but it wasn't there 20 minutes ago, but that's the way it goes. Now, noise reduction is here. You can see that would have been virtually right over my head, that aeroplane. So anyway, back to go to audio. Select audio here. And then I've enabled squelch. If you want to enable noise blanker, you've got settings here. And you enable it by tapping here. You can change the threshold. Same for noise reduction. Noise reduction threshold is here. You turn it on and off with this button. It's got a dedicated button, but you can change, you know, the, the threshold with these. And just once you've selected what you like, then you just turn, have a look now. Push it, audio, squelch, let's enable it by pressing this threshold and then we can turn the frequency which is the top right button frequency is that one okay set the threshold that's how you do the noise reduction noise blanker if you want it agc is here down here look agc turn it off and you can actually change slow middle and fast okay i'll leave it in middle Whenever you want to go back, you can press radio twice. I've noticed that pushing the top right frequency button does that as well. We've got the squelch up quite high, so we might not get too much now. Volume's there. If we go back to radio, I've got the RF gain set at 20. See there? RF gain 20. To select it, just tap it. And then you're moving the frequency knob, the right hand knob. But I've got it at 20. I've disabled the preamp, but there is a preamp. Just tap it, if you go to radio, and it's on. And everything you turn on is up here, look. So you've got squelch on at the moment, noise blanker, noise reduction. AGC looks like it's ended up on S for slow. Preamps on AM, and then we can control the volume at the moment with the middle button. Still working fine. If we hit band, we can select, actually we'll go mode, mode, we can select AM. Come out completely, but if we do hit band, now if we hit band, we get these bands. Now these are all presets that can be changed. So you can see you've got VHF, airband. 
two meters been put in there a few times you know 66 megs there 11 meters 13 and there are six pages of this we're on page three you scroll through the page on the right hand button you do have to spin it a bit but it will go okay and you've got all these settings if you go all the way back it looks like you can do a preset one as well look start and finish scan so that's interesting we're going to learn about scanning it says but it looks like you can set a start finish i don't even know how to start a scan uh, i don't want to start it now until we've finished looking at what else we're looking at so go radio now i just want to show that sometimes it won't take you back with radio you can press the top right button and it will take you back to this screen notice i've got the red you know on the waterfall so if we go visual and the color is here look fft color tap that color if we change looks like with the it's with the frequency knob this time green then hit radio or probably press the frequency again look it's gone green you can change the speed as well so visual to look at my settings waterfall gain is 8 db seems to work fine i've got fft fill enabled that means if i push that that the green is full go back to visual i didn't change the european item dc reject i don't even know what that is i haven't changed that view pan and waterfall always that's interesting I've, i'm going to try that now tap that see what choices we get so it does say single and always. Now if I, is it movable? No, so let's just go to single and have a quick look. Okay, that's what we're seeing. So I'm not, really, but we're still here fine. Go back to visual, back to waterfall, hit the top. I've noticed if we tap the screen, we see a different bandwidth. Doesn't move the frequency. Oh yeah, and to enter the frequency, it should be 850 really, they are. But to enter the frequency, just tap the screen here yeah, and type. Type the frequency, one, let's do the same, three, three dot, that's Bristol Airport by the way, 850, and then you could choose megahertz, kilohertz or hertz so we're going to go megahertz is there someone talking now the other one you can do is at the moment when we move frequency we're moving in 500 kilohertz steps if you look press down the right hand black knob look this is where you can change the steps just by moving right and left you have to spin it a bit but it does go if you hold it down it locks it it locks it into place, which is quite handy. Back out of that. Is it going to let me back out? Interesting that it's still showing the actual lock, not the frequency. Okay, I just pressed the frequency and it came back. We're not locked at the moment. If you press visual and at the bottom, on one of these, not on visual, but on radio, go back to radio. See, it says NCO disabled. Now, if I show you now, and if I try and tune, see the way it's, it's moving the whole spectrum. Okay, leave on on 850. If I go radio and then press NCO enabled, back to radio. Now, when I move, look, it moves that the whole, you know, the whole lot, basically. I think that's better. If I press down, see where at the middle volume it's highlighting flat normal. Moving around now, turn it. The middle look narrow. It's got some choices there, and you can see it's making it wider and narrow. Okay, we'll leave it on narrow for now. Get the frequency back where it was push down to get this back to volume the little white line volumes up radio so that's pretty much you know my my learning so far 
on this. A lot of people say don't enable the preamp when you're on airband, but it's working fine for me. There's the preamp there. I found it, for me it worked better with the preamp. There are two antenna connectors. One says HIZ, one says 50 ohm volume frequency. On the side, you've got a standby button, watch this. Standby, comes back on, it's pretty cool. And you've got a proper on off switch, USB for interfacing with the PC and charging, big 5,000 milliamp battery. To take the bat off, back the back off nice and easy, I will take it off. Uh, just, yeah, two minutes and that would be off, but not in this video. Um, so looking at the radio, see if I can say it. You've got pre-game there, activity timer, indication type. So up here you've got DB, or you tap it, changes to SNR. BT Connect, I haven't used that. You know about the NCO. That one says EM reduction i don't know what that is max gr lna enabled now the lna i would say is running power to a booster through this connector so we will test that and see how that works rf gain shortwave antenna so yeah this is selecting between the two antennas you've got the shortwave if you tap it or the hiz on the left hiz apparently changes the ohms to 300 maybe i'm wrong but I need to learn more. We've selected speaker out here and you can tap the screen for this. Phones and speaker or headphones. So we're on speaker at the moment, but you can just tap the screen and it does the same thing. Okay, we just want speaker. Time correct, no, and I'll show you how to set the time. Just, if you go back to the normal screen, hold down the radio button, hold it down. It beeps, let go, and you can start setting the time now. I've done this once and it didn't hold the time, but you put, you turn the middle knob, press, there's the month, press, time, let's just say it's one o'clock, set. Now if I hold it down again, maybe the time is set and when it, ah, it's, it's hold it this time, so that's good. And I'm not sure what it does with it because I can't see the time displayed even though I've done that, but it's still another tip. So we just show you that the modes are here, all the different modes, including CW decode. Yeah, it's definitely there. I'm gonna make a dedicated video for that. We've got FT8 decode, RTTY, wide FM, all your broadcast stuff, DSP, CW, AM detect, not sure what that does, and of AM. And the big band selection, when you turn to the right, you start to get all these presets. So, I mean, I just think it's a really good device. They've packed loads into this. You know, that's what I think. Yeah. That one must have been right above my head. Because that boomed in, didn't it? This is why you don't have the preamp. Okay. Funny. End up blowing it. And the front end of this has more filtering. That's why it costs more than the older unit. They've packed a lot into this. You think you can listen to everything. HF, six meters, air band, marine band. Just you name it. It gets it. Broadcast, decodes this. Touch screen, waterfall, spectrum. Loads that I haven't discovered yet. Not sure the range right now. I should know, but I don't know. Let's go 1200. Look, it's, it's 23 sems near. Then if we want, we can go seven dot, seven megahertz mode, LSB. Let's whack my, let's put my HF antenna on there. I mean, I don't know if I've got the ideal settings in there for HF. You can change your, your you know, your span of, just by pressing down, look.
No activity tonight. There probably is. You just need to set it up properly. RF gain. Span there. Yeah, we've got that interference coming in. Local interference. see all the broadcast stuff but earlier on when the conditions were booming there's something there we can hit band look for say 20 meters yeah And let's do our best. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. I think that's enough for this video. Learning our way around the Manhattan. Nice big speaker. Good quality case. Yes, you do pay more for it. You've got it forever and it is solid. Bye for now, 73.